Good morning everyone. Morning. We've got our bike. We've got a couple beers from 7-Eleven. And we're off out exploring some of the beaches on Samui. So keep watching. Here's what's coming up. We are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us on, on our, our journey. journey. Uh, right now, we've just arrived at Cha Wang Beach. And Cha Wang... Not Cha Wang, is it? Chong Mon, isn't it? Chongmong. Right, so we have arrived at Chongmong Beach. This is the big beach behind me. Um, there is two islands as well on this beach you can walk to when it's low tide. One of them has a five-star resort on it. But yeah, check it out. On this beach, there's plenty of food, there's plenty of drink, there's plenty of sunbeds. So depending on what you want, it's kind of all here really. So yeah, it's not a bad beach. I quite like it. Right, let's go for a walk. So just behind us over there, there is a five star resort. We wanted to go and check it out basically because it's like a little island separated from the main beach, but we got denied entry, so we can't go in there. Mm. <laughs> so no entry. No entry. Stop, stop. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. We're going to move on to the next beach. Uh, but now we're just going to walk through Chongmon and we're going to show you what's around. So as you can see from the video, Chong Wong has one big bay and there's a spit of sand out the other end which leads to the two islands. And in behind there's another bay which basically I think all the local fishermen go through. You can see all their boats with the lights on for doing their night fishing. But yeah, it's quite tidal. So if you come here at the wrong time, the tide is quite far out. So you have to go a little way out to actually go and swim. So it's not too deep. But the sand is really nice. And yeah, the beach bars look quite nice as well. So yeah, it's worth checking out I think. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. So, we're on our way to Silver Beach, and on the way, just make sure you look out because there's a nice stop where you can see a nice view of the whole of Chao Wangs. Have a look. Crystal Bay, so to Silver Beach, the Crystal Bay Resort, that's the entry to the beach. So let's go, we'll show you around. It's beautiful in here. So this is the entry through resort. Don't think there's any other way.
need to stop for lunch, something to eat. Are we starving? <laughs> A lovely view, lunch with amazing view. I'll show you around, look. Wow. This is definitely nicest beach in Koh Samui. I think so. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very flat mm -hmm. as well. It's lovely. It? Lovely white sand, soft. And we have to get a dip as well after food, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's getting so hot. Lunch with the best view. Oh yeah. Huh. What you got? Danny has pat kapow and I have glass noodle seafood salad. So this is Secret Beach. Let us know in the comments if you like it. We absolutely love this place. We're coming here every single time when we're in Samui, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Check out the rocks behind me. So, this is our spot for the rest of the day. We might go and grab a beer in a minute when happy hour comes on. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. I'm having cocktail though. Oh, you have a cocktail. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, this beach is it's beautiful. Compared to some of the other ones on Samui, it's yeah. one of the best. And at the moment, it's not too busy. But the beach bars yeah. are pretty cool. The food, you do pay a little bit more. Yes. But you expect that when you come here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you will pay a little bit more. But you get this view here. Well, still good compared to England, though. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot better. But you get all this. So on this channel, we also want to show you places worth staying in. So we are staying at the Mermaid Resort in Bangrak. Let's show you around. Let's go. I love this resort for its beautiful grounds and also this resort has free swimming pool so you have plenty of chairs when you want to chill and relax. Diggy said, the pools are amazing. The choice of three, you always find a quiet spot. Also, the good thing about this hotel is where it is. It's right near Bang Rack. It's literally a 500 meter walk to the pier to get here. And the good thing also, there's, as you can see, if you're on holiday, there are much nicer beachfront places as well to stay in. So yeah, look it up, have a look. It's really nice and the staff are really good as well. Really nice, really friendly. So yeah, very nice. And this is our home for four nights. Lovely place we're staying in this time. So let me show you inside. This is our bedroom. Double bed, it's quite comfy. We have aircon, which works really well, it's really good. We have our normal massive TV. We have complimentary water with your room and tea and coffee. 
For the ladies, there's a hair dryer, nice big mirror, and we have a nice big wardrobe as well. To put everything in. Uh, you get all your towels, the beach towels, and everything as well. And this is the bathroom. So everything is nice and clean. You can get your clean room cleaned every single day if you want to. Um, what I like also is that the pool is just outside, which is really nice. And yeah, the grounds are really nice as well. So, to stay at this resort, it cost us £15 per night, so £7.50 each, which is a bargain with the aircon. Um, yeah, we booked this well in advance, so we got a nice discount on it. And yeah, I'd recommend to stay here, right next to the beach, right next to Bangrak Pier. It's within walking distance, so if you're catching the boat to this island, it's very easy, very simple. So yeah, I really like this place. So, this is our bike. This cost us 200 baht per day. Uh, we got it from ID Motorcycles, which is literally just down the road. It's run by an English man called Ian. And all the bikes are brand new. This is 2022. And it's the best bike I've had in Thailand. So just outside our room, we have this lovely swimming pool. nice place to chill, never too busy. You can park your motorbike just in front of your house as well, which is very, very handy. Bye! Koh Phangan. Let's go.